Let me lay this out for you as simply as possible. It's summer, you're gonna be traveling, you wanna pack light, you wanna stay cool, of course, and you wanna look your best. Never fear, a new capsule wardrobe is here. 10 pieces, 19 different outfits. This is how you do it. I'm Brian Sakawa, this is He Spoke Style, and this is a channel for you if you are someone who's been trying to figure out how you can improve your style. It's practical advice, straight to the point, lots of inspiration, and what's really interesting is that if you follow and apply what I'm talking about, not only will you look better, but you'll feel better too. And if you wanna go even deeper, I encourage you to sign up for our newsletter, link right up there and in the description. Click, enter your email, get signed up, and not only will you get even more helpful content, but I'm also giving you a special 15% discount on your first order in the He Spoke Style shop. Let's start with a simple definition. So. What is a capsule wardrobe? A capsule wardrobe is a small edited collection of clothing items that all work together. So you can mix and match everything in the collection to create many different outfits with just a few pieces. Capsule wardrobes are great because they save you time, energy, and money. They reduce the number of decisions you have to make since you're really creating some guardrails in terms of the pieces you're working with. And a capsule wardrobe is great for the environment because you are doing more with less. You can design a capsule wardrobe around any situation, occasion, season, or dress code. I've done several already on the channel from a beginner's capsule wardrobe to business casual to seasonal, and you can make your way through them all by clicking on that playlist I've put together right up there. But today we are talking about a summer travel capsule wardrobe, 10 items total. So let's get right into it. Now, before I get to the 10 items that I'm including in this capsule wardrobe, let me talk about some things that I'm not including but are things that you should definitely still pack. So I'm adding this disclaimer because every single time I post any kind of travel wardrobe video or a what to pack video, someone will inevitably make a snarky comment like, what about underwear? What about socks? What about toiletries? Well, obviously you're gonna pack those things, but we're talking about a capsule wardrobe here. And when I talk about a capsule wardrobe, I wanna focus on the essentials. Not that underwear isn't an essential, but those essential pieces that will help you build your outfits. So just for the sake of argument here, in addition to saying that this is a summer travel capsule wardrobe, let's also say that it's for vacation and you may be going to a resort. So here are some other things that I would be sure to pack. Underwear, no-show socks, and pro tip here, the best no-show socks for men are actually women's peds. Don't argue with me and don't knock it till you try it. Gentlemen, are you tired of your no-show socks actually showing? Women's Peds. Call 1-800-GIRLSOCKS today for your free consultation. That's 1-800-G-I-R-L-S-O-X. Thank me later. A hat, fragrance, sunscreen, this stuff is the best, dop kit, swim trunks, camera, all this tech stuff, watch, collapsible catch-all. You get the idea, and I think I've proved my point here. I'm still packing all these things, even though I'm not including them in the capsule wardrobe proper. Speaking of the capsule wardrobe proper, let's get to those 10 items. Up first is a slate blue Glen Plaid Sport Co. It's 100% linen and half lined, super light and breathable. The pattern is subtle but sporty and patch pockets keep it casual. Item number two is a cream and brown houndstooth sport coat. Beautiful wool, silk, and linen fabric, very versatile. This has been my favorite travel jacket this season. Item number three is a stone linen safari jacket. More casual alternative to a sport coat. Love the pockets, especially for travel. Great way to cover up from the sun or keep a little warmer on a breezy seaside evening. Item number four is just a simple white cotton button up. Goes with everything, easy to dress up, easy to dress down. Item number five is a printed short sleeve shirt. I always love a bold printed shirt in the summer and a vacation is the perfect opportunity to trot it out. Item number six, just a classic black t-shirt. Obviously very casual, but can easily be worn with a sport coat for a perfect dressy casual vacation combination. Item number seven, cream linen trousers. These are a go-to for me during the summer. Light, breathable, versatile, perfect for the season. Next, item number eight, we've got a pair of black linen trousers. Huge contrast from the cream linen, and I like these especially for dressing up in the evening. Item number nine, sunglasses. 
These are the American Optical Original Pilots, classic, military heritage, got the bayonet temple arm. And I'm including this in the capsule wardrobe and deliberately limiting myself because I generally tend to bring way more sunglasses than I need whenever I travel. And finally, item number 10, a pair of Grant Stone Bourbon Suede Penny Loafers. One pair of shoes for an entire capsule wardrobe, you ask? Yes, one pair of shoes to rule them all. That's right, this shoe is incredibly versatile, as you'll see, uh, and it's the shoe that I've been traveling with more than any other for that very reason. I do want to dive a little bit deeper into this shoe and Grant Stone as a brand, as they are today's featured sponsor for this video. Now, if you are a He Spoke Style website reader already, uh, by the way, if you're not, you definitely need to become one, you may have seen a very in-depth review that we did of the Grant Stone Brass Boot and Diesel Boot in Color 8 Chrome XL. This review was completely organic, not sponsored in any way. I just heard a lot about the brand and wanted to get hands-on with one of their best-selling products, specifically because the quality of Grant Stone uh, is often compared to the quality of Alden. And if you'd like to read that review, I've linked to it right up there. Now, the Alden comparison didn't just come out of thin air. The founder of Grant Stone, Wyatt Gilmore, his grandfather worked at Alden for a mind-blowing 60 years, uh, and his father also spent a career there as a salesman in the Midwest. So shoemaking was really in Wyatt's blood, and doing his own thing, making his own way, was very important to him. So Grant Stone came about after Wyatt spent six years in a factory on Xiamen Island learning the whole shoemaking process, and he became particularly interested in Goodyear welting, which is a construction process that allows you to continually resole your shoes. And he also was interested in many variations and patterns, lasts, and also developing prototypes for many global footwear brands. Now, Grant Stone footwear is produced in China, and the whole China thing is something that Wyatt does not shy away from talking about. And it's something that I do think is important to talk about, and it has some meaning for me as well because the clothing we sell in the He Spoke Style shop is also manufactured in China. You know, there are always gonna be some people who say, oh, if it's made in China, it's crap. But the truth of the matter is that it's not about where it's made, it's, it's about how it's made. And when you have direct access and control with the factory that you're using and great materials, like in the case of Grant Stone and He Spoke Style, you are able to ensure that what you're selling to the public is not only high quality, but that it meets every single standard of excellence that you set. So let's take a closer look at the shoe, the Traveler Penny and Bourbon Suede. The idea behind this loafer was to find a balance between comfort and versatility. Obviously, it's a very classic penny loafer design, so just by nature of that, it's gonna be very versatile and casual. Uh, and you can also see that we have a bit of a shorter vamp here. That gives it a little bit more of a casual look as well and makes it easier to slip on and off, thus making it a great travel shoe. Let's talk comfort. So as with all Grand Stone welted shoes, the Traveler Penny has a leather insole with a softer tannage specifically for flexibility. And they use an oil-dipped butyl leather outsole, which is more flexible than a traditional leather sole bend and also has water-resisting properties. Both of those things promote a much quicker break-in period, and I can attest to that because these shoes felt great right out of the box. The beautiful bourbon suede is a fine calf suede, which is sourced from CF Stead Tannery in England. The suede, as you'd expect, is incredibly soft. As I wear these more and more, uh, they're honestly starting to feel slipper-like. That's a good thing. The suede has aged very well. I expect it'll continue to do so into the future. And this is a material that's meant to be worn in all four seasons. Great looking shoe. Definitely recommend checking it out. It's priced incredibly reasonably, I'd say, at $348. Available in three different widths, D, E, and triple E. And while you're on the Grant Stone website, if you subscribe to their newsletter, you can save $20 on your first footwear purchase. So we've got the shoes, we've got the wardrobe. Now, let's put it all together and check out our 19 outfits. I know 19 is a weird number, and I really did try to squeeze 20 looks out of this, but there is a reason I just couldn't get to 20, which I'll explain. So be sure to follow along. Look number one, combining the white shirt with the cream trousers and the houndstooth sport coat. It's tonal, minimal, a little bit of visual interest via the houndstooth pattern. Look number two, just gonna switch up the jacket to the slate blue Glen plaid sport coat, which now becomes the focal point, still with a nice subtle pattern for some interest. Super classic, absolute no-brainer. Look number three, 
Again, swapping the jacket out, this time for the safari jacket. Another tonal look that's still somewhat dressy, but a bit more of a casual and sporty vacation style because of the safari jacket. Look number four, I'm going without a jacket, just the printed shirt with the cotton trousers. Much more casual and relaxed with a slightly oversized fit, being great for keeping cool. Look number five, similar but different. Just by simply tucking in the shirt, I can completely change the overall vibe of this look. A little dressier, great for an early evening cocktail. Look number six, just gonna throw on the safari jacket. I love how the style of the jacket really plays into both the color and pattern of the shirt. Very summer, very fun. Next, look number seven, a little more respectable with the houndstooth sport coat. To be honest, I wasn't sure that the patterns were gonna work together, but because they're different scales, jacket small, shirt large, they combine really well together. Look number eight, once again, changing the jacket, leaving the foundation the same. Much different look, same concept, subtle pattern, bold pattern. Look number nine, simple t-shirt with sport coat look. Love the contrast between the shirt and the pants. A little bit of pattern in the sport coat for some visual interest and the color of the jacket ties in nicely with the loafers. Look number 10, casual and relaxed, still looking put together. Again, the safari jacket lending a sporty but elevated feel to the entire look. Look number 11, you guessed it, just changing up the jacket to the slate blue Glen plaid. Cooler colors up top, warmer tones on the bottom, yet everything works together. Look number 12, we're moving into black linen trouser territory, pairing it with the white shirt and houndstooth sport coat, which helps to tie in with the color of the bourbon suede loafers. Look number 13, swapping the houndstooth jacket for the slate blue Glen plaid. I might typically wear a pair of black loafers with this, but the bourbon suede gives a really nice burst of contrast here. Look number 14, same foundation, white shirt, black trousers, but throwing on the safari jacket to give it a more relaxed and sporty feel. And also you can see the color of the jacket works perfectly with the loafers. Look number 15, printed shirt tucked in, casual but elevated. Again, brown up top plays nicely with the color of the shoes. Now this is where I thought I could squeeze out another look by untucking the shirt, but for me, that was just a little too casual with the formality of the black trousers. Look number 16, just gonna add the houndstooth sport coat. Really love the interplay of black, brown, and white. It's minimal, a bit unexpected, and I think it's incredibly chic. Look number 17, black t-shirt, black trousers, sand colored linen safari jacket, complementing the bourbon color of the loafers. High contrast, casual, sporty, and I'll say it again, incredibly chic. Look number 18, same all black monochromatic foundation, but we're classing up the joint a little bit with the houndstooth sport coat. And you can see, even though we've got an all black foundation, the color of the sport coat helps pull in the color of the shoes, tying everything together. Look number 19, same thing, different jacket with the slate blue Glen plaid linen sport coat. The suede loafers being the standout piece here, providing some contrast. The thing I love most about a travel capsule wardrobe like this is that you do have so many different options. I don't know about you, but I find it really hard to plan specific outfits for a trip. And when I try to think outfit to outfit like that, well, it kind of feels like too much of a commitment. I feel locked into those particular outfits and you know, what if I get to where I'm going and suddenly I'm not as inspired by the looks I put together before the trip. But as you can see with 10 pieces, I've got 19 different combinations. So no matter how I'm feeling or what I'm doing, uh, there's gonna be a way for me to combine those pieces in a way that makes me feel good. It's an exercise, it takes some planning, and I do wanna thank Grant Stone once again for sponsoring this video to help me stretch myself in this way and to be able to show you that yes, 19 different outfits are possible even with one pair of shoes. And of course, reminder that when you subscribe to the Grantstone newsletter, you can save $20 on your first footwear purchase.